The Al Rashid Hotel in central Baghdad is home to many Americans and is seen as a symbol of the US-led occupation. But on Sunday, that presence came under fierce attack. A US helicopter scanned the sky after terrorists fired rockets into the concrete face of the 18th floor building. Just after 6 a.m., they blasted huge holes in the hotel walls, shattering dozens of windows. The fifth and eighth floors sustained the worst damage. Witnesses said the rockets were launched from a vehicle parked outside the hotel. I heard explosions, said this witness. I saw a car pulling a trailer which was carrying a container loaded with launchers aimed at the hotel. U.S. forces later found the trailer which had carried the rockets. Apparently, they were set off by a timer. Among the dozens wounded was a security guard who had approached the terrorists. We asked the driver to move his car because it was in front of the hotel, he said. We then saw a man remove a piece of iron from the front of a vehicle. When he saw us, he ran and the missiles fired. I was injured and fell to the ground. Inside the hotel at the time of the attack was the U.S. Deputy Defense Secretary. This terrorist act will not deter us from completing our mission, which is to help the Iraqi people free themselves from the type of criminals who did this. American officials believe the attack had been planned for several months. They say they don't believe the Deputy Defense Secretary was the target.